Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Hello Lux, and today I'm going to be posting a review of my Morel, which is a highly requested video. If you've been on my channel for a while, you may or may not have known that one of my most popular videos in a bag that I love is the LV Boosie, which I'm going to be going over later. Um, but yeah, I will be posting an in-depth review between the Morel and the Boosie just because of similarities. But before that, I figured it'd be good for those of you who aren't interested in the Boosie just to post a video dedicated solely to the Morel. So hopefully this video will help you guys. And yeah, if you have any questions, leave them down below and I'll make sure to answer them. Before we get started, I also just wanted to say to follow me on Instagram, that's at hellux underscore. And I always post there about what content I'm about to post, um, surveys. If you guys are coming from there, you may or may not have known that I actually recently just came back from a trip from Osaka and I picked up something at Van Cleef and Arpels that I've been eyeing for a while. I was gonna post that video today, but I actually ended up getting that item resized. So figured that I would post this video first, but if that's something you'd be interested, definitely subscribe. And yeah, you'll see that content coming out in the future. Just a really quick overview to show you what I'm gonna be covering. First, I'm gonna be going over the bag details. So we're gonna be talking about things like price, material, etc. I'm then gonna be going over the bag and you know the compartments, dimensions, etc. I'm also going to be covering pros and cons, and there's quite a few ones that I haven't seen anybody talk about, so definitely stay tuned for this. And then of course, I'm going to be showing a what fits. But if I miss anything or there's any other questions, feel free to leave that in the comments below and I will get back to you. Awesome, now let's get into the details of this bag. So really quickly, if you want to know about the story of how I bought this, I bought this in Europe. Um, you can watch my Europe LV unboxing, which I'll link up here. If you're interested about the price that I paid in Europe, the VAT refund, general savings, is LV cheaper in Europe? Go ahead and watch my VAT refund video, which I will post up here. Lots of good stuff as well. Now getting into the bag itself. So this is called the LV Morel. There's actually two versions of this bag. So one is this type of bag on the smaller side, and then there's a tote, which I will go ahead and I will post a picture right here. But in terms of colorways for this bag, my bag is the black with the contrast lining that is the white. It also comes in gold honey, which is the same color as my Boosie. The contrasting color is actually more of the standard LV monogram. It also comes in white, or as LV calls it, quartz. Um, and that one has the reverse monogram type of colorway, so a little bit of that lighter monogram. All of them do come with silver hardware, as you can see right here. And yeah, in terms of price, I'm talking about USD. Right now, it retails for $2,370. When this bag was first released, I believe it was somewhere around 2200 And even after all the price increases, I think because this isn't necessarily one of the timeless classic bags, it actually hasn't been hit that hard. So every single price increase, it's about you know 5%. Of course, all of them always suck, but at least it's not as crazy as some of the other ones like the Neverfull. And again, if you want to see how much I paid for this in Europe, watch this video. I will just let you know it was hundreds of dollars cheaper. So I don't know if I would have paid US retail for it, but I'm really glad that I purchased it for the price I did in Europe. In terms of other details about this bag, so in terms of the dimensions of the bag, we have 9.8 right here inches. We have 5.9 inches right here. And then the width of this bag actually sort of tapers in. So you can see that this base is actually pretty wide and this base is about 3.1 inches. So it is a pretty, you know, good sized bag, I will say, and it definitely fits all of my essentials. So, you know, stay tuned for that and I will be covering that. In terms of other details, it has this small removable pouch that you guys can see right here, which has a contrast lining and I have a few pieces of paper right there, so ignore that. Um, but this is fully detachable and it also does come with a shoulder strap. So the shoulder strap is also adjustable, which is amazing. And this is cowhide leather. Um, so that's one thing to note. So all of this is cowhide leather, um, but the bag itself is epi, which is a little bit more durable. In terms of the inside of this bag, which I will go ahead and unzip, I currently have a, you know, bag protector from Samorga, or sorry, not Samorga, from Zumoni just to protect it. Um, but it's basically the same color as the lining of the bag itself. So as you can see, this says Louis Vuitton Paris made in France, and it's sort of this light pink microfiber. So yeah, that's a little bit about the bag. In terms of you know the other details, I'll go ahead and cover that a little bit more, but this is just very basic details of the bag. Now going into a little bit more of the details of this bag, I did want to show you guys the compartments a little bit more and some sizing, comparing it to some real bags I own. So first I wanted to touch, about, touch on this card holder right here. 
um, or I just call it a card holder. Let me take out these papers that I stuck in the front. Um, but this card holder is actually really great. I haven't seen this print elsewhere, so I know for some of the other colors where the card holder is going to be pretty much the LV monogram, that's actually a great alternative to just purchasing purchasing a LV card holder and then a bag separately. So if you wanted an LV card holder, definitely consider the Morel because you basically get it for the price of the bag, which again, I know that this is not a cheap bag, but comparing it to some of other LV bags, for example, where a Neverfull is worth $2,000 and it's just basically canvas, I think this is actually really good value because you can switch this in and out of other bags. So in terms of the size of this, pretty standard. It looks like it's actually really narrow and you wouldn't actually be able to fit cards in, but what's going on is this is actually a really wide sort of card holder itself. Um, I don't know why they just didn't put the zipper all the way, but rest assured your cards will fit in and I can go over that later. So yeah, you can take this off um, and if you didn't, then the bag would definitely look very, I guess, low key um, and you wouldn't really be able to tell that this is an LV bag unless maybe you recognize the Epi or you see the LV logo if you're a bit closer. Again, as I mentioned, everything is silver hardware. In terms of compartments that naturally come with this bag and not from an organizer, there's just basically one big back pocket right here and that's pretty much it. So a lot of open space, but I think an organizer is always really helpful, especially for a light color. It ensures that you're not going to permanently stain or damage the interior of this bag. Moving on to the straps that come with it. So first there is a smaller sort of handheld strap. Um, as you can see right here, for me personally, especially in the winter, it's a little bit too small to use as a shoulder bag. You can use it and it's sort of like the um, smallest version of the Prada re-edition. I just personally don't prefer to use my bags that way and I'll touch on it a little bit later as to alternative straps that I use if I want to use it as a shoulder bag. Then there is this very, very generous um, shoulder strap that you can adjust. Um, and this is actually beautifully made. As you can see this, you know, cowhide leather you can see all the grains and it's super soft and durable um, and also malleable and i covered this in my boosie video but i think that this is actually way better than epi because it's a lot softer and from afar you can't see that it's not the same leather as the bag so as you can see right here i have it on the shorter setting because i like my bags to sit really high up i'm about 5'2 so definitely on the shorter side but you can just see how many holes there are um, so this is going to fit you know anybody no matter how tall you are or you know how you prefer your bags to sit so I personally think that that's amazing. Let me really quickly clip this back on. Um, and then I can show you how this compares in terms of sizing to some of the other bags. So first I have the wallet on chain. So here's the Boosie and then we have the wallet on chain right here. So I know it's hard cause they're both black bags. Um, but as you can see, the Morel has a, I would say like maybe like an inch and a half to two inches. Um, and then of course you can see that the morel is taller. Now let's look at the size of the bag, which I think is the biggest difference. Um, so here you can really clearly see that the morel is actually quite a, um, quite a bit bigger. And of course that width really does make a difference. So because of that, you're able to put a lot more in it. Then another bag that I'm going to compare it with, which again, I'll do a full video later, is the Boosie. Um, so here is the Boosie. If you haven't seen it before, feel free to check out the video on my channel, which I'll link here. Um, that's a full video dedicated to the Boosie. So these actually look like they could be around the same size. And again, I know it's a little bit hard to see, um, but the dimensions, I'll show you guys from the top, are pretty much the same in terms of, you know, the length of the bag, in terms of the size of the bag, which let me flip it over right here. So the Morel is basically just quite maybe like an inch or so taller than the Boosie. It looks like the Boosie is a lot wider than the Morel, but actually what I found out, which I will talk about in, you know, the Morel versus Boosie video, for some reason, I feel like the Morel can actually fit more. I think the height really makes a difference compared to the width. So yeah, that is a few comparisons for you guys. Hopefully that helped. Um, and give you a little bit more visuals in terms of the sizing of this bag. But again, I will be covering a what fits in a few minutes. So that'll definitely provide more details as to how much this can carry and if this will work for you. Awesome. So now moving into the pros, I think one of the biggest things for me is the durability. So I love Epi Leather. Um, I feel like it's a really underrated at LV and you know, Epi Leather always tends to be cheaper than any other, any other leathers or even cheaper than some of their canvas bags. 
Um, so I think that it is great. It's going to last you a while for sure. And I think the leather of the strap, it's thick. It's not, you know, too dainty, but at the same time, it's not overwhelmingly thick, like a two inch strap. So I think this bag is definitely going to be durable. And at least for me, the black matches with everything. So I think that this is a great bag. It's super versatile. Um, it can be casual if you just do it crossbody. Um, but something that you can do is you can just, you know, take off the long chain and it can just be a handheld bag. Um, so I think that is a great option as well. The other thing I love about this bag is that it can be low key. I personally haven't really seen anybody else have this bag. Um, I don't see it being a very popular bag. I don't know why people are sleeping on this bag, but I think it's amazing. And again, talking about wanting to be low key, if you remove this pouch, then you can barely even see it's an LV bag. And if I'm ever somewhere where like I'm on public transportation or et cetera, and I don't want necessarily people knowing that I have a you know designer bag, then what I can do is I can flip it around and wear it like this. And like that, you don't see any designer at all. So if that makes you feel safe, safer, then that's one way you can go about it. The other thing that I briefly touched on is being able to remove this pouch and use it on any other bag. So I think that also is an added bonus of purchasing this bag is you basically get a card holder with a bag included in the price, um, included in the price, not like it's cheap, but you guys know what I mean. The other thing that I wanted to show you guys is like a lot of my other bags, what I like to do is changing out the strap. So let me go ahead and show you what I mean by that. Um, so let me take off these really quickly. Awesome, so let me move these straps to the side. I have this chain right here, which is from Next Fashion. And this chain is actually great. And sorry for all the noise that it's making, but as you can see, it actually matches the LV chain pretty well, um, especially if you're far away, nobody's gonna be able to tell. But what I like to do is I can clip this on it. If you guys give me one second. So I can clip it on there. Sorry for all the noise. Um, then I can also clip it on here. And then, yeah, you basically have a shoulder bag with the chain. So this really reminds me of the Prada re-edition, which I'll attach some pictures of, but this is a really great way to dress up the bag. And again, if you guys remember what I was talking about earlier, where I personally think that this is a little bit too, you know, short for me, I think this is a great way to make it a shoulder size bag because it hangs, you know, a little bit better on my body. And with the curvature of this bag, um, as you can see right here, it really sits really nicely under your arm. So I think just replacing a silver chain um, instead of the leather straps that it comes with really makes this bag super versatile and you can wear it in so many other ways. Really quickly too, I wanted to say that I know some of you guys have asked me a lot where I get my chains. You can find these chains really from anywhere, from Amazon or you know some other cheap site, but I personally have got mine from Next Fashion and this came with the chain, so I'll leave you guys there. I'll um, leave this here for you guys, but I'll leave their websites and everything down below. I think their chains are amazing. They're really not that more expensive than a chain that you would maybe find on Amazon. Um, they can range for about like maybe $20 each, but the quality is so much better. If you guys have ever bought a cheap you know, strap or chain and you rub it together on your hands, there's that sort of lingering smell. Um, this one doesn't have that at all. So they're great. Shipping is fast. Um, and I actually do have a coupon code with them as well. So that's hellolux 20 will get you 20% off. So I think this is amazing. Um, and as you can see, it looks beautiful. So I would highly recommend checking this site out if you guys are interested for any chains for your bag, you know, any length, any color, they have it. So yeah, just really quickly wanted to plug that. Now moving on to some of the cons of this bag because every bag has its pros and cons. One of the things for me is I love Epi. You know, I know that I like it because I, have it in my boosy and I just really liked how carefree and durable it is. But one thing that I personally am worried about with black epi is again, if you, if there's any leather experts out there, let me know, but I don't know what is necessarily under this epi, if that makes sense. So if you can see, it sort of has these lines that are within the leather, but if I were to get any scratch on it and the top layer were to come off, I'm just curious how that would look. Ironically, I think in my light colored, epi bags like my Boosty scratches are less evident. Um, but if I get a mark here and it's white, you know, for example, it's just a lot easier to see. And of course this has to do with the color of my bag, but you know, so far so good. I've had this bag for a few months and if there are any issues, I just use this 
Cadillac boot and shoe leather conditioner that is recommended by my Chanel essay, which I will link you know down below. You can get this on Amazon for like under $10. It's been great, um, but just long-term, I'm just curious as to how the leather and the corners and everything else is gonna hold up. Um, again, haven't seen anything so far, but that's definitely something that I'm gonna keep my eye out. For this bag specifically, the lining is also light pink, which I know can be a concern for some people. Um, but again, for me personally, I just buy a, you know, sort of compartment. This one again is from Zumoni, and that just makes me feel a lot better when I am using this bag. Something that I wanted to note though, which is interesting, is the hooks from this bag are sort of fastened in through this loop. Um, so with that being said, you can't actually, or you can't close a bag, but it doesn't actually go all the way to the end, if that makes sense, because this loop needs to be here. So with that being said, you can sometimes see some of the lining. So you can see that light pink. Um, you can see that light pink. Um, and again, that's just because how the hooks are fastened. That doesn't bother me at all, but I have seen some people are bothered by the fact that you can see the lining from the exterior of their bag. So that's one thing to keep in mind if maybe you are a bit pickier or that's something you care about. Some other things that I wanted to note is the back strap, although it is super you know extendable and it's great in that aspect for me somebody who's short i need to personally you know put it on the shortest setting and with that being said there's a lot of extra leather that's hanging out you would think that you know they would allow you to move this or you know maybe have a lower so it'll ensure that this bag doesn't this bag um strap doesn't come out flying but this one actually this part right here you actually can't move it so for me, it's being on the shortest setting and I always feel like this is sticking out or, you know, in the long term, I hope it doesn't end up curling out. But at least what I try to do is if I'm laying the bag down, I always try to lay it down like this so that the strap is being, the smaller strap is being covered and weighed down by the longer part of the strap. Because I feel like if I were just to leave it like this long term, it's going to end up, you know, sticking out and curling out. So that's one thing I wanted to note if that really bothers you. I know that this is something that Hello Cat Walk City covers on her channel quite a bit. So yeah, just wanted to call this out in case you're one of those people that doesn't like bags that, um, where the strap isn't secured. But yeah, that's pretty much all of the cons that come to top of mind for me. Um, as you guys know, I really do my due diligence and think about a bag before I you know, buy things. So hopefully this video helps you and thinks, um, helps you think about things that you may or may not have considered. Awesome, now I'm gonna dive into what fits. Before that, I'm gonna cover this card holder. So right now, I just have one sort of business card in this card holder. Um, I took a few random gift cards. So right here, you can see that this is five gift cards, um, same size as a credit card. And as I was talking about earlier, you can just pretty easily set that in. So as you can see from there, there's actually quite a lot of other space. So you could put more cards in this, you could put cash, you know, coins or whatever you want, but this is actually really generous. And then you could, you know, definitely put this in any of your other bags. So that's the front pocket. Um, something else that I like to do, which is definitely really convenient. I almost see it as another flap. Um, let me just hook this on so it doesn't make noise the rest of the video. Um, but let's say somebody gives me a card or like I park somewhere and I have a parking validation. Um, I just sort of take this and I just slip it behind here. It's really easy access. And when I'm using the bag, you can't see it. So that's one thing that I like to do. Now moving on to what fits inside the interior of this bag, I'm not really going to use any compartments, um, but you could if you wanted to. So first I have a phone. This is the iPhone 11. So I will go ahead and I actually put that in this pocket right here, which fits perfectly. Um, I have a Chanel card holder, which I will go ahead and put in here. Um, I have this one from Dress Up Your Purse that I use as my cash and coins. So I'll put that in here and I'll show you guys a better overview after I put everything in. I have another card holder if you guys just wanted to see um, what that would look like. So I can go ahead and put that in. Um, I have a Clarins lip oil, which I will put in as well. I have a small lotion from Lush, which I can also put in. I have a eye contact solution, which I will put in as well. Um, I have a lip balm, which I will also go ahead and put in. I have a hand sanitizer, which I can go ahead and stick right here. Um, and then I have a Tide pen, which I can also go ahead and stick right here. Um, and then I have a wet wipe or like a pack of tissues that I can actually just stick at the back right here. Um, and then when I was in Japan, they gave me this pack of tissues. So I can actually 
lay this at the top and I'll zip it up and then show you what it looks like from the outside and then show you everything that's inside. So as you can see right now, really no bulging or anything. It looks perfectly fine. Um, I'll show you guys the back too. Nothing from the back either. Now let me show you how much is actually in here. I never carry this much ever, but for the sake of playing devil's advocate and seeing how much could fit in here, just wanted to show you guys. So taking out the tissue so you guys can see everything. So again, right there, I have that wet wipe. I have my phone right here and then a hand sanitizer right here. Lip oil, eye contact solution, lotion is under that, Thai pen, um, cash coin purse. We have the lip balm, we have the Chanel card holder. Oh, and then we have the other card holder behind this. So what I was talking about earlier is that the shape of this bag and the height actually really helps. Because for example, in my Boosie, this hand sanitizer cannot stand up. So the fact that you're able to have things stand up completely allows you to put things straight up rather than you know on the side, which really allows you to stuff this bag to the brim. So again, I would never carry this much on a normal basis. Usually I don't even have my phone in here because it's always just on my hands um, or in my hand. So let me show you what you know, I would actually use this bag. Like, um, so let me take out a few things. So this is maybe closer to what I normally have in here. Um, let me actually take this out too. So normally I just carry these things. So I have my card holder, coin and cash purse, chapstick, Tide pen, lip oil. We have a small lotion and then the hand sanitizer on the side. So as you can see, there's actually still a, you know, a lot of empty room. I don't really carry my bags all the way to the brim. I don't like it to be heavy and I don't need a lot of things. So this is what I would carry, you know, on a normal basis. But as you can see, so much fits in this bag and I think it's very underrated. Awesome. So with that being said, I'm going to wrap up this video. Hopefully you found this helpful. I feel like this is still a really new underrated bag. So there isn't a lot of information out there, especially on YouTube, as I was thinking about purchasing this bag. So hopefully this helped you. Uh, make sure to leave any comments or questions down below about this bag. And again, I'm going to be posting a video in the future about the, you know, Morel versus the Boosie. So if you have any questions comparing these two, also leave them down below and I'll make sure to cover that in my next video. With all that being said, please give this video a like, please subscribe down below. That would mean the world to me. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and yeah, hope to see you guys soon. Bye.